single observer is what we call it. It's basically just meaning you have one observer at the top. Like it looked like a big cyclops. <laughs> and I. Basically, what that just means is that half of the board of observations is not easily available to you. Mm -hmm. That's really it. Just half missing. And kind of the more important part. I've, I've, the SE. <laughs> I think so. And not a real thing to be proud of missing. I know. You know? I think people are like, mastermind, that's me, or, or you know, magician, You're whatever. You're the guy the that can't leave the house. I know. Okay, so what does it mean to actually have fourth function or even demon sensory, really? It's it's not knowing what is going on. And I and, and people that don't have demon sensory yeah. don't really have any idea how it's, ridiculous it really is. It's so bad. And if they knew what it was, they wouldn't be fighting to be an INFJ or, right. or INTJ or whatever, right. or, or INTP. These sensors will usually say things like, I'm not sure why, I don't know what you mean, I don't understand. So like, it's like the understanding side of things is right. sort of missing. But the intuitives literally miss the details, the facts, the what. Okay, so that, that's, that's... That's a really good thing that we see definitely in our yeah. work is we see the demon intuitives, wherever that intuition may be or whatever it is, they will say repeatedly, I have a hard time understanding or I yes. don't understand what's going on or I don't trust people or situations because they're like, things are getting switched around. I don't understand what's right. going on. I see what is going on, but I don't understand. Miss the connection. And then the demon sensors, I, I, I don't... What happened? What happened? What, what was that noise? Yes. What, what's going on? What, what did what, they what, say? What, what, what? Where is it? What is it? What time do we got to be there? Literally. What's happening? Literally. Where am I? <laughs> so if you have lead NI, this is basically the problem, right? The problem with lead NI is that you are constantly going to be living a day, a week, sometimes 10 years into the future and therefore missing, here's the missing information, missing the day-to-day -day new information that is actually going to break your plan. And not just a little bit. No. Not not a little bit. Like no, this is like, defined by your life's problems. And if you address this, then your life's problems diminish. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because if you're constantly, confidently moving towards the future and that plan, th it, like they actually have that already taken care of. Like like people have already done that. It's already, it's like, it's like in your day to day, if you would just search around you, if you just look for it, it's already solved. That thing is solved. And you're like, I'm going to make this epic thing and I'm going to create this epic thing and it'll be amazing 10 years into the future. Yeah. and you don't even know that it currently exists, that's the kind of problem that we're talking about. We've seen that before. Oh, yeah. Just We've done that before. Reinventing the wheel. Yes. I got this great idea. I got this great plan. This, I got this app I'm going to work on. And like, hey, have you even done the research? They already have that. Right. Okay. So I have some blaster tips. Um, basically, uh -oh. constantly demand that you update because your plan could be outdated. Like, bottom line. And inaccurate and not complete oh yeah not in reality the update game i see is the scariest thing for the lead and eyes like the word update is like uh, equated with like death yeah like don't make me update. it's just it, it just says i'm going to take your computer away and you can't have it back <laughs> update <laughs> right great updated now nothing works right and that... all my settings are gone and i gotta go get a new computer right if you're living 10 years into the future and somebody does an update on your computer you have that. to come back to physical reality and change stuff don't, don't got time for that that could break your plan right but the reality is your plan's already breaking. Right. Isn't still that not, scary? Still know yet. Yeah, I just don't know yet. That's what blame is for. <laughs> uh, so something like setting so, some sort of like daily time blocks, weekly time blocks, whatever you need to do to be able to tell yourself it's time to check in with reality. So it, it, Like the only freebies you get are usually kind of whatever you have in the middle. So if you have double observers in the middle, like I really look up to say the ENTJ as well as, as the ISTP or even ISFP where they right. got the... The SE and the FI, or the SE and the and the and the NI in the middle. Right. Um, right. Preferably the SE first. Right. Like, it just makes more sense that you would gather in reality first, then go make your plan, right. then do your abstract. <laughs> and they relatively have a, a, a balance there of of not getting overwhelmed with control and chaos right. because there's that there's that balance there that's happening. So it's totally. like it's hard because it's like I've had to learn to get control of my SE. I had to power down the NI right, dramatically. Right. That was the harder part. It was not it was not necessarily <laughs> doing the SE. That's not where you want to kill yourself. Right. It's powering down that first function is where you want to go insane. Okay, so I have another blaster tip here oh, God. Uh, that is actually a little bit helpful for you is that so, I would even say just a teensy use your NI to simulate out different future scenarios that you're going to run into so that you can actually deal with the current chaos, the SE chaos better. So for you, it's like, all right, I can now 
use my NI when I come into the physical reality. This is what double observing is. Sure. So you're coming into your physical reality and you're taking ownership of your house and you're like, okay, uh, what's the worst case scenarios that can happen in my house? Okay, I got a hot water heater, house could burn down. That's been uh, life-changing to burglary. play that game. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. You're not just going no NI only and SE only. Because the computer is going to freak out on you eventually anyways. Yeah. And so you just right. get to choose, do I want to do it on my time or its time? Exactly. And if you wait for its time, it's going to happen chaos and you're going to be out of control and you're going to freak out. Exactly. So and you're just picking a fight early. There's only so many areas that you have to pick a fight about, right? Right. We call it like owning the walls of your castle or owning owning all of what's inside of your, your castle walls here. So it's like if you have 50 things inside of your castle walls that you've been ignoring, all of them are going to blow up at any time. But you can use your NI and simulate out and go, okay, at, at, at some point in time, this possibility could happen, this possibility could happen. And now you can get to work and kind of see the different roads. Well, if if my house blows up this way or if it burns yeah. down this way, I can I can now start making a plan. There you go. You like the fucking plan. You can now start making a plan for what would I do? Okay. Oh, look, we got Frank James on the other line. He's here to do a demonstration. <laughs> I, mean, I have distressing <laughs> news that you've no doubt heard by now, but Gmail is redesigning how their inbox looks. And... I am, I am like in a panic right now. This is like my worst nightmare. <laughs> maybe, maybe not my worst nightmare, but it's close. The Gmail I've been using for however many years now, eight, 10 years, it's great. It looks boring. I see all the email. I understand what I'm looking at. And the new thing is I looked at it for like five minutes and I felt like I had been dropped into the middle of some <laughs> weird contemporary minimalist <laughs> jungle and I couldn't find my way out and I don't like it one bit. Please don't make me do this. Please. You're making me look at all this stuff again like it's a, new, a totally new mailbox. Uh,